uh, veteran radio listeners, we're talking to Keith King. He's an Army veteran. He has over a couple of decades' worth of business experience in the advertising and PR business at Keith King & Associates in Detroit, Michigan. He spent six years as the National Public Affairs uh, chairperson for the Vietnam Veterans Association. But in this role, he's talking about as the president of the National Veteran Business Development um, Council. And it's this is sort of when you get certified – by NVBDC, it's sort of the good housekeeping stamp of approval, if I can frame it that way. Is that that's kind of fair, uh, Keith? Yeah, and that's great analogy. Thank you, Jim. You know, because here's what happens: we are in a position now where these corporations will actually come to us and say, "Keith, do you have a certified veteran business that does, you know, whatever?" And we'll go into our database and look for them. And if we have one, or like we have, I think, rough numbers, 22, 25 uh, certified veteran construction companies. And we'll have, you know, one of the companies say, hey, I'm looking for a construction company that does whatever. And what we will do is then submit all 25 of those companies to them and say, well, here's their capabilities, and let them follow up and, and have that opportunity. But without the certification, they would never have that opportunity at all. But, so yeah, yeah, they uh, never they uh, never make the short list. They never get to the exactly. short list. Yeah, and and well, is is it also um, Keith? Is this used sort of by uh, non-veteran businesses to form relationships with uh, veteran owned, certified veteran-owned businesses? Yeah, and that's a great point because frankly, one of the things that we encourage is our veteran businesses to partner or subcontract with other veteran businesses themselves. That's one point. And then there's, as you had indicating, a non-veteran company who is looking to add a veteran business to their presentation or adding to, you know, their, their subcontracting plans. We have some very large companies who have come to us and said, hey, um, we would like to add some veteran businesses to a bid. Uh, one of our guys put uh, a team together, uh, veteran businesses, and won a $40 million bid. So we do both, Jim, both the non-veteran uh, businesses working with our veteran businesses and veteran veterans coming together and forming teams. You know, as a veteran, we're used to working in teams. And as you know, in my career, in my business, um, because of the work that I was doing, the largest team I had was with eight other companies, and we formed, you know, our, our bid, put that bid in, and, and won a, a rather large national contract for that. So we encourage that kind of work. Keith, if uh, our listeners want to know more about this and, and maybe go uh, into the certification process, uh, how do they keep in touch and follow along and, and track this? The two things I would recommend is first go to our website. Everything you need to know is on that website. Um, what I would highly recommend is, is once you go to the page that says, you know, veteran certification, there's a checklist. Print that checklist. It will tell you the documents that we need. And what we tell you is get those ready. You're going to need to scan them if necessary. If you don't have them in an electronic format, scan them, get them ready because you're going to need to upload them. The other thing is simply an email to support at nvbdc.org. Our team is there. They are there to help you. They are really good at this stuff, and they'll walk through it. And finally, if you want to talk to somebody on the phone, it's a simple number, 888-CERTIFIED. And so if you call that number, one of our people will answer that and help you and try to answer any of your questions. And if everything else fails, tell them you want to talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Like what you heard? Listen to this full episode and more on the Apple Podcasts app, Blog Talk Radio, Google Podcasts, or iHeartRadio. And now streaming on Amazon Music, Audible, and Spotify.